Hello everyone, this is Love Queen Tarot, and I am here to do um the weekend reading. This weekend reading is for the collective, so collective meaning all signs. So this is for September the 9th to the 11th, 2022 for the weekend. So this is for the collective. So um collective, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate other parts of the reading might not as well keep in mind that timing is fluid so this reading can manifest over the weekend it can manifest later on down the line of time or this present reading could be past energy for you if this present reading is past energy for you then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance so i didn't get any messages during a pre-shuffle um, so I'm going to show you guys what's at, what's at the bottom of the decks. Some of the decks I shuffled, some of them I didn't. But collective, when I was just sh shuffling this deck right here, depression came out in reverse. So collective, um, you or somebody else's depression is going in reverse over the weekend. Somebody could have been, um, depressed about a betrayal, some type of deceit, backstab, a traitor, not to be trusted. So, somebody could have been getting their karma because they betrayed someone. And this person is going to be done with their karma over the weekend. Or collective, you're no longer depressed about somebody betraying you. So, somebody betrayed somebody. Or collective, you was betrayed. But depression is going to reverse. So, I'm assuming this could be a past betrayal. Because depression is going in, in reverse. So, somebody could be done with their dark night of the soul. About something that could have happened in the past or something. Alright, so. Let me show y'all what's at the bottom of the decks. That I'm using. Yep, and I just shuffle again. And Betrayal is at the bottom of the deck. And it's in the upright. So. I don't know what's going on with that. That Betrayal. I think somebody could be coming out of their dark night of the soul about a past betrayal. And I heard it was a betrayal indeed. It was a betrayal indeed. And somebody's coming out of a dark night of the soul about some betrayal. About a betrayal. So let me just shuffle this deck right here. And then I'm going to be done. I don't even know if I'm going to use this deck. But I might... I'm going to shuffle it anyway. All right. So. So at the bottom of this deck, we have confident. At the bottom of this deck, we have girl with the snake. Impact and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. So somebody might put up boundaries over a week, over the weekend. Somebody could could have got betrayed by a narcissist. Collective, you could be um, putting up boundaries with your abu with your abuser. Collective, you could be an impact in your abuser or somebody who betrayed you was a narcissist. And then we have trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. And this is love and romance, this deck right here. <clears throat> then we got the page of pentacles. So this could be the beginning stages of something practical. Or this could also be a bribe. Somebody could be trying to bribe somebody. We have star seed. So collective you or somebody else could be a star seed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then at the bottom of this that we have codependency. A codependent relationship is present. So, so somebody's dealing with a codependent relationship. And then we have betrayal. Deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. And we have Strange Valentine. Love is strange. Then we have Sudden Wealth. And at the bottom of this deck, we have the First Chakra Archangel, Michael. All right. So let me go ahead and jump in. So collective, I'm going to pull on y'all overall energy. 
and see what's going on with you guys over the weekend. What's the collective's overall energy for over the weekend? September the 9th to the 11th, 2022 for the collective. What's the collective's overall energy? I'm not going to take this. We have second chakra, Archangel, Ariel, and attachment. So, collective, I'm kind of picking up. Somebody could be like in a karmic cycle. Somebody could be stuck in a karmic cycle. But collective, you might find peace of mind. Or you're going to come out of depression about being in a karmic cycle. So, this could be somebody that's unhappily married. And collective, over the weekend, you're just going to find peace about being un unhappily married or something like that. This second chakra is all about intimacy. It don't have to be sex, but some type of intimacy to like maybe something that's toxic. So, this could be like an unhappily married couple. And somebody is still going to find peace about like this attachment. So somebody's going to find peace in like a negative situation. So somebody could be in a karmic cycle. Somebody could be paying off karmic debt. And then we got happy family at the bottom of the deck. So somebody might have to make the best of a bad situation or collective. Somebody who offended you in the past could be getting karma over the weekend. So collective, this could be your energy. I mean, this could be somebody who offended you. But this is your energy. And somebody could be stuck in an unhappy mar uh, in an unhappy marriage. And collective, you have happy family. Or this is like the same energy. It's like somebody's going to have to make the best of a bad situation. Or somebody might have to be honest about some type of um, unhealthy attachment. Somebody might have to be honest. Or something. Somebody's going to have to be honest about something in, in order to get a happy family. Somebody's going to have to tell the truth about something. All right. Okay, so what's crowning the collective? Yeah, we got a Karen connection. <clears throat> so collective, your ex is something... Um, so collective, your ex could be getting their karma or collective, you might reconcile with the ex, some type of Karen connection. So a Karen, and then we got, um, man holding the heart. What in the world is going on over the weekend? And then the first shock where Archangel Michael. So collective. Over the weekend, you could be getting to the bottom of something. Because the first chakra is the root chakra. So, you could be getting to the bottom of something. Collective, you could be realizing why you did something or why somebody else did something. And it could be because of their root chakra. Somebody's going to have to connect with their root chakra, their roots, their upbringing, their culture. Somebody is going to have to be honest about something to do with their first chakra, the root chakra. So somebody's going to have to get to the bottom of something. Speak some truth. And that's maybe that's how somebody's going to get like a happy family. And then we have Karen Connection. Or collective, you have a happy family and your ex, whoever offended you or something. Collective, this could be you over the weekend. And um, I'm picking up collective, your ex is just, is just going to have to watch you in this Karen Connection. Collective, your ex could have offended you, never apologized, and you have a Karen connection over the weekend, and your ex can't do nothing about it. So, it's like, collective, this could be you and your lover, and this is um your ex and their lover. So, your ex could have been a narcissist. Collective, you're in a Karen connection over the weekend, and your narcissistic ex is in a codependent relationship. And collective, your narcissistic ex might be in your business. Him is like collective, your ex and their their lover is going to be like watching you and your lover. And it's like, it's polar opposites. It's like something like that going on. Collective, your ex might also get arrested. Someone might get arrested. There's something about a new line of study. 
collective, somebody could have been trying to do spell work on you. And they're going to get arrested. Or 3D or 5D. Somebody's going to get arrested. Collective, your ex didn't want to see you happy. So they could have been trying to do spell work on you. And they might get arrested 3D or 5D because of their new line of study. Collective, somebody probably wanted to reconcile with you. And you want, you didn't want to reconcile with them. Or collective, somebody wanted to like celebrate at your um, demise. Somebody was doing spell work on you, collective, because they wanted to celebrate. Collective, somebody could have been trying to get you arrested. Yeah. So, collective, I see in the cards, you have a camera connection and your lover and your ex is in a relationship, a codependent relationship. Collective, um, your ex might get arrested or your ex's lover. Somebody going to get arrested in this codependent relationship. Collective, your ex and their lover could have been doing spell work on you or both of them might get arrested, 3D or 5D. Yeah. Collective, somebody wanted to celebrate at your expense. This could have been... Collective, somebody could have did spell work on you and they was waiting for it to, like, manifest. There will be a reason to celebrate because somebody was doing something in the occult. Or, collective, you're going to successfully, like, do a reversal. Collective, your ex could have been trying to get you arrested, 3D or 5D, but you could have successfully did a reversal. So, collective, you might have a reason to celebrate. And then we have obsession. Someone is obsessed with you. Yeah. Collective, you could be in denial about somebody being obsessed with you. <laughs> collective, you could be in denial about how much somebody is obsessed with you. Or you're in denial, like in general, that somebody is obsessed with you. Collective, I'm picking up. You're either going to do, you're going to do a successful reversal, or collective, your ex was trying to like cast a spell on you because they wanted to celebrate. So collective, your ex is in a codependent relationship, and maybe your ex was trying to break up your caring connection, but something's going to backfire. That's why somebody might get arrested. So, something like that going on. But well, let me go ahead. Give me a Kipper message for this Karen connection. Yeah, the wealthy man. So, this is my card for Divine Masculine. This is an awakened Divine Masculine. So, Divine Masculine, you could be watching this, this reading. It could be a Divine Masculine watching this reading. Or Divine Feminine, um, you could be in a Karen connection with your Divine Masculine. Or Collective, I hope this is not your Divine Masculine that's coming up against you. Because this wealthy man is my card for an awakened Divine Masculine. But I'm going to double check to make sure this is um, a Divine Masculine. I'm going to double check. So somebody could be in a Karen connection with the, this wealthy man. Or somebody's in a camera connection with their divine masculine. This wealth could be other 3D or the 5D. And then we have a thief. Yeah. So I heard collective somebody over the weekend might try to steal your joy. Somebody could be trying to steal your joy. And it could be your ex or something. Uh, it's a narcissist. This person doesn't have to be your ex-lover. It could be an ex-friend, an ex-neighbor, an ex-co-worker. But this person is a narcissist. Somebody's a narcissist. All right. And somebody wants to, wants to steal somebody's joy. But collective, you're going, you might su successfully do a reversal. Or collective, this narcissist is going to get karma. They're going to get arrested. So this could be 3D or 5D. So if this is 5D... It's like collective. This narcissist is going to attempt to like do some spell work against you. But their conscience, they're not going to be able to because their conscience is going to get arrested. So again, this is either 5D arrest, which could be your conscience. 
amongst other things. Or this is like a 3D arrest. Somebody going to jail. Or something like that. All right. Give me a message for this Karen connection for the collective over the weekend. Paul, oh, it came out in reverse. Time for change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So collective, somebody wanted you to change. Collective, somebody could have been trying to tell you it's time for you to change. You need to learn something new, something to do with technology. Collective, somebody could have been trying to tell you you need to learn how to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. Collective, somebody could have been trying to con you, this thief. Collective, a thief was trying to convince you that you need to learn how to use gadgets and things with wisdom. So, collective, this could be somebody that's like, collective, say like if you needed your laptop fixed. This person was trying to, they wanted to fix your laptop so they can like hack into your laptop or steal your laptop or something. Yeah, somebody trying to con somebody. But this this card is saying you don't need to. Yeah, collective something going on with technology and gadgets. Collective somebody's trying to take advantage of you. It it is something to do with technology and gadgets. Or collective. This thief was trying to steal something, but they might get caught because they wasn't using technology and gadgets with wisdom. This thief could be hard-headed. This thief could be stubborn. This thief could think they know everything. So spirit could be saying, yeah, somebody's going to keep on doing something until they get like arrested. Like, this person not going to never stop. This person could think they're untouchable. Somebody probably feel, think they're untouchable. This thief thinks they're untouchable. Or collective, um, somebody could be against you, um, like, updating your device. Collective, you could be trying to go to school for technology. And collective, somebody don't want you to, like, get knowledge about technology. That's because this person is a thief. Collective, somebody don't want you to know something. That's because they're a thief. So, collective, you could be hanging out with your friend. And you're telling your friend, yeah, I'm going to sign up for school. And, and I'm going to school for um computer tech or something. And collective, your friend going to be like, don't go to school for computer tech. Collective, somebody wants you to stay ignorant to something so they can steal from you. I'm picking that up too. Somebody wants you to stay ignorant to something so they can steal something from you. But collective, I'm picking up. Somebody's trying to convince you it's time for you to change. You need to learn something new. You need to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. But spirit is saying no. Somebody could be a businessman. So this wealthy man could be in business. And somebody could be trying to get this wealthy man to purchase their products. To launch like a new business plan. To pivot. To get um upgraded uh technology or something. And I don't think this businessman, this wealthy man should do it. Because it's a thief around. Somebody's trying to convince this wealthy man to do something. Some type of investment or something. And this wealthy man shouldn't. I'm hearing stay just the way you are. Like keep everything the way it is. Collective, I'm also picking up you and your lover. Whoever you're in a camera connection with, collective, say like you and your lover, y'all straight, but y'all not friends on Facebook. It's like collective, somebody around you is like trying to convince you that your relationship is not official if you're not friends with your lover on Facebook. 
So collective, say like you a female and your friend is saying, girl, you trust your man. I wouldn't trust him. Why y'all not friends on, fa on Facebook? That's suspicious. That's not love. Like if y'all really lovers, y'all should be friends on Facebook. Collective, somebody trying to convince you to change or they're telling you you're not using gadgets and technology with wisdom. Somebody, but spirit is saying you don't have to change nothing. Something like that going on. <coughs> Collective, I'm also picking up somebody wants to connect with you through social media. Because they want access to your wealthy man. Collective, somebody probably wants to know like who your husband is or who your lover is. Collective, whether you are male or a female, if you're in this Karen connection, somebody wants access to your social media so they can get in contact with your your this person who you're in a Karen connection with. Yeah, something like that. Somebody trying to be slick. It's a thief around over the weekend, Collective, so y'all need to be careful. Be careful. It's a thief around, y'all. And then the signs are with you already. Yeah. So, Collective, this person could have played you in the past. And they could be trying to attempt to betray you again. And, Collective, you looking at this person like, get back. I already know. I already know. Get back. I don't care about your opinion. Yeah, Collective, you're looking at somebody like this. And it could be this thief. Yeah, somebody's telling somebody to get back. Yeah, because the signs are with you already, Collective. So you're very aware or Collective, you're going to become aware of this thief. So this thief might might try to get in Collective through emotions, through technology. Or something like that. Yeah, Collective, I'm hearing you know and they know. Like everybody know what the deal is. This thief is aware that they're a thief. So, collective, the signs are with you already. So, somebody is very aware of this thief. And, collective, that could be the reason why you're in reverse. You're not changing nothing, collective. You don't want to learn nothing new. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want to update your software system in your home or in your business. You don't want to. Because you know somebody a thief. Let me see if this wealthy man, um, a divine masculine, because this wealthy man, he could be the, he could be this thief. Let me see. This wealthy man, is he a divine, ma an awakened divine masculine? The wealthy man. Is he a, an awakened divine masculine? Oh yeah. Yeah. So collective somebody, um, could be, Yeah. So this wealthy man is somebody's divine masculine. And he's awakened. And then we got the empress at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so, collective, it's a thief around that's trying to steal from you and trying to tear up your Karen connection. So, collective, this Karen connection could be a lover or like your business. Yeah, somebody trying to tear up somebody's camera connection. So somebody's twin could be under like attack because a thief is around. Collective, somebody could be trying to tempt your divine masculine to like do something that's going to sabotage um, y'all connection or y'all business or something. So, again, I'm going to say it again. This pole energy being a reverse, collective, I'm picking up that somebody could be hard-headed. Collective, somebody, it could be this thief. Somebody's very hard-headed. And they're not going to learn until they learn. Somebody might get their karma over the weekend for being hard-headed. Somebody could, it's, somebody keep trying to steal from somebody. And they're going to get karma or they're going to get caught. Or, collective, this pole coming out reverse is telling me. That you don't, it's nothing about you that you need to change. It's nothing about your marriage that you need to change. It's nothing about your business that you need to change. 
It's nothing about your cell phone. You don't need to update your cell phone, upgrade your cell phone. Because somebody could be trying to convince you to change something. Or somebody trying to make you feel foolish, collective, and you're not. Somebody could be trying to make somebody feel foolish. But it's because this person is a thief. So they have to convince you, collective, that. It's a thief around collective that's trying to make you feel as though you're like beneath them. You need their help. They, they know more than you. You're not as wise as you claim to be or something. Yeah, something like that. So, let me go ahead and enter the love portion of the reading. So, collective, I'm going to pull a card from this deck and get a message of love for you, for love and romance. What's the collective message of love for over the weekend? What's the collective message in love and romance? What's... Okay, so support came out sideways. Yeah, support came out sideways. Collective, I just also heard, don't trust your lover's ex. Don't trust your lover's ex. Or collective, don't trust your ex. Collective, somebody's ex could be trying to sell y'all something. And don't don't buy it because it's like a, it's a hoax. It's a it's something that could be hexed. Somebody's ex is trying to sell somebody something. So support coming out sideways. It say lean on your inner circle during this time. So it's coming out sideways. Hmm. So collective in in love and romance something to do with support. Um. Somebody could be having a hard time with this energy. Somebody could be having a hard time. It could be because of pride. It could be because of shame. But somebody could be having a hard time leaning on their inner circle during this time. Or collective spirit could be telling me to tell you to be intuitive about who you accept support from over the weekend. Because somebody's a thief. So... Support is available, but do you really want support from this person? So, collective, I'm picking up. It could be your ex or your lover's ex that's trying to, like, support you. And don't accept this person's support. Like, be intuitive or something. It's like, collective, you probably need support. But not from, not from, not from somebody's ex. Mm -mm, something like that. Somebody could be trying to get somebody to cheat on somebody. Collective, your ex might try to get you to cheat on your lover, your twin, or your husband, or your wife. Or collective, your lover's ex is trying to get them to cheat on you or something over the weekend. Somebody's trying to get somebody to cheat. Yeah, somebody's ex is trying to get somebody to cheat. All right. What's going on with support coming out sideways for the collective? What's going on with support coming out sideways? Okay, I'm going to take it in the upright. It say focus on self. Self worth Self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. All right, so self-indulgent. So, collective, I'm hearing you could do something by yourself. So, collective, I'm also picking up for some of y'all in love and romance. Your lover is absent. Your lover could be out of town. Y'all probably own a business together. But, collective, your lover is probably out of town. Or it's like collective over the weekend, your lover is not at your business. You're there by yourself. And collective, your ex is going to come visit you or your lover's ex is going to come visit you. And collective, do something yourself. Do something yourself. Self-indulgence. Do something yourself, collective, because maybe your, your lover is not available. Or they could be out of town or something like that. Oh, this can even be sex. Collective, do it yourself. Yeah, somebody, 
somebody's ex is aware that you're alone. Your lover could be out of town or whatever. And collective, somebody's ex is going to swoop in and, like, try to convince you to have sex with them. And it's like, collective, no, self, self-indulgent. Do it yourself. Like, please yourself. You don't need to cheat on your lover while your lover is away. Give me one more for support coming out sideways. So somebody might be tempted to cheat on their lover while their lover is gone. But collective, your ex is doing this like to you on purpose. Yeah, we got separation coming out sideways. Sadness missing you. Yeah. Mm. Collective, your ex or your lover's ex, somebody is um is swooping in for the kill. Because somebody's lover is not available. Somebody's lover could be at work. Somebody's lover could be out of town. And somebody's ex is going to approach somebody. Um, collective, your ex could be trying to convince you that they miss you. They've been thinking of you. Or collective, somebody could be trying to get you to miss them. Or make you think about them. Somebody wants you to be unsure of the future. Or this is what somebody is telling you, but it's a lie. So, collective, your ex is coming to you and they're saying, oh, I miss you. I've been thinking about you. I miss you in the bedroom. You know you the best I never, you, you know you the best I ever had. Collective, somebody wants you to be unsure about the future. Somebody wants you to... Doubt your current lover. Like, should you break up with your current lover and reconcile with your ex? Collective, somebody wants to fill you with doubt. But they're having a hard time, collective. So, collective, your somebody's ex is trying to cause a separation. So, collective, do something yourself. Or, collective, make somebody else do something by themselves. So, collective, your ex could be coming to you saying, oh... I haven't had sex in a long time and this, is and that. It's like collective. You might tell your ex, um, I can't help you. You can please yourself. I can't help you. Yeah, somebody could be trying to cause a separation. Or collective, somebody's trying to convince you that they miss you and they love you, but they really don't. Yeah. So, collective, somebody could either be trying to steal from you, steal, like, something from you, or somebody could be trying to steal you from your lover, or steal your joy. Yeah, or something. Yeah, the sword and rose. So, clarity, truth, revelation, solid, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Collective, I'm picking up somebody out here is they have a business and collective, you're in business with your lover. Um, collective, you could be a divine feminine and collective before your divine masculine went out, went out of town. He could have installed like surveillance cameras or updated like his security inside the store or something like that. Something like that is going on. This wealthy man did something collective to protect you before he left out of town or something. Or something like that. This wealthy man is protecting his caring connection. He's protecting his caring connection. Somebody could have also got a restraining order on somebody before they went out of town or something or went out of the country. Somebody got a restraining order or something. Or this could be like a 3D or 5D restraining order. I'm, I heard a restraining order. But they did it before they left. This wealthy man did some type of protection over his camera connection before he left. And somebody is going to get clarity and the truth about something. Yeah. Yeah, and then I shuffle and it's back at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So, again, 
somebody's going to get clarity, truth, and the revelation about like some some type of protection and honor and power. Hmm. Yep. So, collective, that's what you can expect in love and romance over the weekend. That's your message for love and romance. Um, let me pull two cards from this deck right here. Give me some messages for the collective for over the weekend. Give me a message. Give me two messages. Okay, so we got evil family members. So collective, this could be like your immediate family. Or this could be somebody that you have kids by. So this could be an ex-husband, an ex-wife, a child's mother, or a child's father. This is either your immediate family, sisters, brothers, siblings. Or this is like somebody you have kids by. Evil family members. So somebody dealing with evil family members. We have natural Ricky powers. So collective, you or somebody else have natural Ricky powers. And we have psychic attacks. Okay. So collective. Oh. Collective, you could be like a Ricky healer. Or you could be like a, a therapist, a massage therapist or something. Collective, you and your lover, y'all own like a massage uh, joint. That's what y'all do for business. Y'all Ricky healers or y'all do like massage therapy or something. Collective, somebody that you know is going to try to come to you and they want to work at your place of business. But collective, this is an evil family member. Don't let this person work where you work at. Or they want you to hire them because y'all family. But collective, if you let this person come work for you doing um Ricky healing or um some type of massage, collective, your your business is going to be under psychic attack. Somebody could be trying to get hired by a family member. So collective, you could be the business owner. And a family member of yours is going to suggest that you hire them. But collective, don't because your business or your caring connection is going to be under psychic attack if you hire this evil family member. Yeah. So, collective, your evil family members is using natural Ricky powers to cause psychic attack. For, like, your business, your clients, your customers, or, like, your, your, um, your, um, romantic relationship. So, collective, somebody... Collective, I'm also picking up, you could be like a newlywed or something like that. Collective, your evil family members could be offering you like their free services. They want to give you a massage like for a wedding gift or I'm here free of charge. And collective, don't. Because um, if you accept some type of Ricky healing from your evil family members, collective, you're going to end up under a psychic attack. Or collective, I'm also picking up with this um, pole coming out in reverse. Collective, your evil family members want you to download something. So collective, your evil family member could say, I opened my business. Um, I'm going to send you the link to my website. But it's about natural Ricky powers. Collective, don't do it because you're going to be under psychic attack. Yeah, somebody, an evil family member is doing something with uh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Powers. So, collective, again, your evil family members wants, wants you to hire them at your place of business. Or they're telling you that they're going to send you a link with some information about Ricky Powers. And, and, and don't do it because somebody going to end up under psychic attack. Yeah, then we got angels are protecting you. Yeah. So, collective, either you're the Ricky healer or your family member is a Ricky healer. But somebody's using this Rick, these Ricky powers to cause psychic attacks. And it could also be, like, through massage. Somebody wants to give you, like, a free massage or something, collective. Or collective, these evil family members want you to incorporate 
something to do with natural Ricky powers into your business. But collective, don't team up with these evil family members because your business is going to become under is going to come under psychic attack. But it's all right, collective, because angels are protecting you. Yeah. I also heard collective. Somebody wants to overcharge somebody. Somebody, somebody is overcharging people for these um, Ricky healing. Or some, yeah, somebody, or collective, your evil family members is trying to convince you that you should overcharge your customers and they'll never know. So collective, somebody could be trying to convince you and your lover, y'all could be Ricky healers, and they're saying, why not? Your customers will never know. You can overcharge them and make a, make a killing. And collective, if you do, you're going to become, you're going to come under psychic attack. Yeah, collective, some of your evil family members could be tempting you to, like, do shady business or overcharge your customers or something like that. Or collective, somebody's trying to overcharge you for some Ricky healing or something. Yeah. But somebody wants to cause psychic attacks. Yep. And they're using technology. So this guy, this, this is somebody like saying they're, they're going to send you a link or they want you to visit their website or something like that. Mm, yeah. Somebody being slick. Yep. <coughs> yep. So let me get into the tarot. What's going on with the collective over the weekend? What do the collective need to know? I'm also picking up two collective. Whoever this narcissist is or, or your evil family members collective. Um, this person or these people wanted to steal your joy by causing you depression. But collective, I'm picking up. You're not going to fall for it. So that's why depression at the beginning of the reading came out in reverse. Somebody's intentions on purpose was to cause you depression. And it could have been because of a theft. Or collective, the theft was the depression or something like that. And we got the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, that's true. Something, yes, that's true. So collective, you're not going to fall for this. Whatever this is, these evil family members trying to do or this narcissist. All right. So we got the Ace of Wands. So some type of passionate new beginning. Collective, you or somebody else could be a fire sign. Dealing with a fire sign, you got fire in your chart. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Then we got the Three of Pentacles, Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And then we got the Knight of Cups, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so initially I'm picking up collective. It could have been three people collaborating, trying to figure out how to um, con you, how to steal your joy, how to cause you psychic attacks. Somebody was collaborating. Um, collective, I picked up in the cards. I saw in the cards that these three people that was collaborating against you, they might get into an argument or a disagreement about how to like actually come up against you. So, it's like one person is saying, no, let's offer them a passionate new beginning. Or, you have to get her to have sex with you. You have to offer her your wand. And then the other person is saying, no, um, start off small. Like, ask her out for a date. Bring her a gift. Bring her some chocolates. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out um, collective how to come in between your Karen connection. This three of pentacles. They're trying to figure it out. This person trying to figure out, should I... Should I come off as the Ace of Wands? Or should I approach her like the Knight of Cups? Like something like that? Say if I the Ace of Wands. 
Here we got an Ace of Wands. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, somebody wants to have sex with somebody. Somebody wants to have sex with somebody. And they're collaborating collective about how to convince you to have sex with them. What will it take to get you in the bed with them or something like that? The Eight of Wands, this could be sexual intercourse. And um, this could be the female's um private part. And this is the... Could be the man's private part. Yeah, so collective. Somebody trying to figure out how to get you in the bedroom. How to get you to sleep with them. And it could be a man. He's trying to offer you his wand. Um, this, could, this, this is, could even be like some spell work collective. This man um, in the past or over the weekend collective is going to do like a glamour spell or something. Or some sex magic or something collective. Or he want to do foreplay or something. But either way around it is still a form of like whatever this man doing is like manipulation. It's spell work. Yeah. It's like somebody is trying to figure out. if Yeah, this is I heard wine and dine. So collective somebody wants to wine and dine you to get their way or something. Clarify the three of pentacles. Yeah, we got the ten, ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Collective, this could be family. The Ten of Pentacles is family. The Ten of Pentacles can also be a family business. The Ten of Pentacles could be like a savings account, a retirement account, things like that. Yeah, collective, this could be telling me it's people in your family that could be collaborating against you. It could be people in your family that's collaborating against you. Or collective, somebody's collaborating about your family business or your family, your caring connection or something like that. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, so this wealthy man could be considered the emperor, divine masculine. And collective, this king of pentacles could be like your child's father. So collective, it could be your ex if you a female. It could be your ex that's trying to like tempt you to cheat on your divine masculine or something. This could be your child's father. Collective, your child's father could be an earth sign, a Capricorn towards a Virgo. Collective, you could be a fire sign or a water sign. And your child's father is an earth sign. Or a water sign. But this is your divine masculine. And that king of pentacles could be your child's father or your ex-husband. Or this king of pentacles is like your family member. So collective, your own family member. Collective, say like the king of pentacles is your uncle. It's like collective, your uncle trying to get somebody to have sex with you. To get something out of you or something. It's, it could be like three men collective coming up against you and they're trying to get somebody to sleep with you or something or something clarify the knight of cups yeah judgment <laughs> yeah so collective you or somebody else could be a scorpio or aries judgment i think it's aries as well but mainly Scorpio. So we got Scorpio out here. Earth and fire. Clarify judgment. Yeah, the page of pentacles came back out. Yeah. Collective, I'm picking up. Oh, okay. I see. So collective. Whoever your ex is. Collective, your ex is trying to tempt you over the weekend. 
And collective, your ex's lover is trying to tempt your divine masculine. So it's like a couple coming up against a couple. It's a karmic couple trying to get a, a set of twins to cheat on each other. So divine feminine, your, your karmic ex is trying to get you to sleep with him. And your divine masculine's karmic, karmic ex is trying to get your divine masculine to sleep with her. Oh, so the Knight of Cups is a woman. So, Divine Feminine, your ex could be a fire sign. And his karmic new lover, she could be a water sign. And Divine Feminine, you and your twin is going to be tempted by this karmic couple. Divine Feminine, the man coming for, for you, he coming for you with his Ace of Wands. And then his girl, his karmic girlfriend, is going for your divine masculine. So divine feminine, this could be your divine masculine's ex. So divine feminine, your ex-lover and your divine masculine's ex-lover, they go together. So they're the karmic couple. And divine feminine, you and your divine masculine, y'all the twins. And they trying to set both of y'all up. Like, at the same time. So divine feminine... Your ex is trying to get you in the bedroom and this karmic female is trying to bribe your divine masculine to do something. She's coming off to him as the page. She's trying to bribe your divine masculine to do something. She could be begging him to like reconcile with her or she's trying to get your divine masculine to do something. Um, she could be trying to play hard to get with your divine masculine. She could be flirting with your divine masculine. Yeah, she could be flirting with your divine masculine or she playing hard to get. And divine feminine, yo, this masculine karmic, he just want to just jump your bone. He want to get straight to it. But this karmic woman, she's approaching your divine masculine like totally different. She, she knows she has to be extra cautious a little bit, Divine Feminine. I'm picking up. This karmic female, she has to be extra cautious when she approaches your Divine Masculine. So, it's like she really want to bring him under judgment. But it's like she got to come off as a page. Like she innocent to a situation. So, it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic female is acting like she don't know who your Divine Masculine is. Or she's acting like she don't know you and your divine masculine is together. She's trying to come off as if she's innocent. So divine feminine, whoever this karmic couple is, I don't know who they are to you. But it's like divine feminine, I'm picking up your divine masculine is going to say to this woman, don't you know who my girl is? Like, you, you all right? And this female like, who your who your um divine who your divine feminine who your girlfriend? She trying to act like she don't know. Let me see something. This King of Pentacles is this um the wealthy man? No, <laughs> yeah. This King of Pentacles it could be your ex divine feminine, and he's a narcissist. <laughs> or divine feminine, this is like your evil family member. This could be your uncle, your brother, or something like that. Yeah, it's three people. It's this karmic masculine, the king of pentacles, and this karmic female. And they're collaborating together, divine feminine, on how to, like, steal from you and your divine masculine or take from your caring connection. Or they trying to figure out how to infiltrate your business or something. This is crazy. Yeah, then we got the six of wands. Divine Feminine, something's going to be brought to your attention. Truth and clarity. Divine Feminine, you're going to realize something and get a victory as well. Then we got the Four Wands. So, yeah, it's just confirming to me that I'm reading for like a set of twins. So, it's like twins are going to be under attack by their by evil family members, narcissists, karmic couples. That's what I'm hearing over the weekend. 
tr uh, twins, gen genuine twins, are going to be under attack by narcissists, evil family members, exes, and karmic couples. And they're collaborating to do this. And all of them, they're considered thieves. Yeah. Yep. So divine feminine, when um this karmic masculine approach you, he's gonna say something to you about your twin flame connection or your twin. So divine feminine, something is being brought to your attention about your twin flame connection. Divine feminine, somebody is coming to you about your stuff, your caring connection. Somebody want to know something or they're asking you something about your Karen connection. Your twin or like your twin flame. I'm also picking up Divine Feminine. Somebody, this karmic masculine, he's going to say something like, um, yeah, I seen you and your Divine Masculine um, wedding pictures. He's going to say something about maybe when y'all got married or y'all wedding day. Or something about your business or your stability. Somebody going to say something to you, Divine Feminine, about your stuff. Something that, that's yours. Yeah, it's going to be brought to your attention. So again, Divine Feminine, this carbon mask is going to approach you. And he going to say something like he remember your wedding day. Um, He was at the wedding. He going to say, y'all remember me? I came to the wedding. You don't know me. I'm your divine masculine friend. Me and your divine masculine go way back. I was at your wedding and everything. So divine feminine, something is being brought to your attention. Somebody saying something to you about your four of wands. Yeah, somebody saying something. Divine feminine, your divine masculine, he could be an earth sign. Divine feminine, your divine masculine could be at work. Like, divine feminine, y'all probably own a business together. Or divine feminine, you're a business owner. But Divine Feminine, over the weekend, you're going to be apart from your Divine Masculine because he could be at work or he's doing something else. He's focused on something else. Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is not able to be around you when these karmics like tempt and test y'all. Y'all going to be like separated from each other. Yeah. I'm also picking up Divine Feminine. I just picked up intuitively that your Divine Masculine is going to pick up something intuitively. And he's going to like second guess his intuition. Because something is telling him don't go to work over the weekend or something. Something is telling somebody's Divine Masculine like not to do something to protect you or take extra precaution. Because he feel it. This Divine Masculine, I picked it up. He feels something is off. But he might dismiss it. But somebody divine masculine is very intuitive. It's like. It's like somebody is. um, You know how somebody is cooking something. And you you sniff the air. It's like somebody divine masculine sniff. Like he can, he's intuitive. He's, he can sense trouble coming. He smell it like in the air. Or something like that. But I heard this divine masculine say, let the let the MF try it. So somebody divine masculine, he picking up something intuitively. I heard he can smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> so he smell his enemies cooking up something. He can smell it. He sensed it in the air. But this divine masculine, he going to continue on and do what he got to do. And I heard him say, let the MF try it. Because this divine masculine, he's sniffing the air. And he... He he caught a like a whiff of it. He felt something. He picked up something intuitively. And he know like something, somebody is up to something or something. And I heard him say, yeah, let the MF try it, but I'm going to work. I ain't got time for my intuition. I got to go to work, but let the MF try it. Let them try my divine feminine. Let them try it. Like something like that. This divine masculine saying to himself.
Yeah, something like that going on. <clears throat> so, with my spirit animal deck, because I'm picking up Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine over the weekend is like a dog. His sense of smell is like he's a dog. He can smell it in the ear. But not a dog in a bad way. I wonder do they got a dog in that spirit animal deck. Hold on. All right, so I found it. It, it. it is actually in the deck. So I also picked up, Um, for some of y'all, y'all divine masculine is like, um, is in a different type of animal spirit, but it's something to do with a king smell. I also heard, uh, while I paused the video, I also heard nocturnal animal. So um, I'm not going to go through the whole deck right now. Well, not the whole deck, but I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to go with what I went with in, in, in initially, which was a dog. So, um, like I said, when I paused the video, um, the message that I got was for all you guys, for divine feminines, your, your divine masculines is in like a difference, like an animal spirit. Um, but so, for some of y'all, it could be a dog. But I heard it can also be nocturnal animals. But something to do animals with keen sense of smell. That's what I heard when I paused the um, video. That was the message I got. But I'm going to just stick with the um, dog spirit. And it say, be loyal to what you love. And I'm going to read it. Dog spirit appears to remind you that although change is a part of life. And all of us are meant to evolve. Our love and commitments remain strong. You are loved now and can trust that this higher love is true. Spirit loves you and love has arrived in many forms now, manifesting in the people you surround yourself with, expressed uniquely through them. Dog spirit also says, be sure to that which you love, for now is a time of good fortune. Be steady. See, it say now is a time for good fortune. And that's why that thief is around. Um... Yeah, that's why the thief is around. They're aware that now is the time of good fortune. Be steady as you recognize that people and things are always transforming. Your heart is loving and true. And dog spirit wants you to know that your steadfast commitment to experiencing and expressing love will attract and manifest more love. You deserve all of it. Have faith in spirit's plan for you. So divine, so divine feminine. This is what energy some of y'all divine masculines are in. This dog spirit energy. So divine feminine, for some of y'all, your divine masculines are very aware of y'all success. So he's picking up intuitively that something shady is going on. Somebody could be plotting against y'all. But I'm picking up divine feminine. I heard that some of y'all divine masculines going to shrug it off. Because it's going to like come like a stench in the air. Is gonna he's gonna pick something up intuitively, but he's gonna shrug it off and continue on with his weekend. He probably gotta go to work. But he's aware that it's a possibility for enemies because of y'all good fortune. And he he right. Um, so let me read the protection. Loyalty to people and situations can turn into attachment that results in stagnation, immensement, and loss of integrity. Do you fear what will happen if you let a relationship evolve? Are you afraid that asking for a situation to change will make others see you will make others see you as disloyal? So, divine feminine, I'm picking up that something is going on between you and your divine masculine and divine feminine. When your karmic ex or some narcissist approach you, they're going to try to instill doubt. Like this karmic might say, divine feminine. What type of man to leave his girl alone in the shop? Or if you was my girl, I wouldn't let you stay home alone. You would come on vacation. You would come on um, business. You would come out of town with me. So, Divine Feminine, it's a karmic masculine that wants you to think that your Divine Masculine is being disloyal to you. And your Divine Masculine is very aware of what this man is going to say to you. Some type of game, divine feminine, this man, your a karmic masculine going to say to you is like, it's, it's somebody spitting game. And divine feminine, your divine masculine is very aware. 
So in his mind, spirit is asking your divine masculine, are you afraid that asking for a situation to change will make others see you as disloyal? So divine feminine, the downside to whatever's going on between you and your divine masculine, it's like people is going to feed off of that. Like, if that was really your divine masculine, why would he leave you here alone? Or why would he do this? Why would he do that? Or something like that, divine feminine, somebody going to come to you saying, <coughs> trust that when dog spirit appears, you are meant to accept the turning of the wheel of life and the changing of fortunes. If you feel you are being betrayed or are growing apart from someone, let dog spirit re reconnect you with your commitment to love in all its forms. Perhaps a relationship is meant to evolve. Perhaps you are meant to evolve too so that you can experience the growth for which your soul yearns. Your greatest loyalty is to love. So be open to all its many guises, including self-love. You deserve the best, and that is what spirit wants for you. So, Divine Masculines, are, if you watching this video, this is your energy. So, I'm picking up Masculines are like, a lot of things are going through their mind. Um, Divine Feminine, you and your Divine Masculine is probably, y'all could be going through like a separation or y'all not getting along. And people around y'all is aware of it. So, they're going to like swoop in to cause like a theft. And this could be emotionally or financially. So divine feminine, your divine masculine could be out of out of out of town, out of state, out of the country for business. Or you guys could be in separation and y'all live in different homes. And people is aware of like y'all separation. So they swooping in trying to cause a, th a theft. And divine feminine, I'm picking up your divine masculine could be more aware of it, of the possibilities than you are like he's aware of the possible danger because of your separation he's aware of it yeah so i'm picking up divine masculines who's in like communication who's in contact with their divine feminines um divine masculines they're in their head they're thinking about things divine feminine that you might not be aware of Yeah, so let me put some scoop on this energy and go ahead on. But first, let me see what this page of pentacles, let me see what this female doing. Because I'm picking up, this is a karmic feminine right here. And she having, she's trying to get like in contact with your divine masculine or something. All right. What's this um, page of pentacles doing? Wait, no, let me pick it up from the tarot. What is the Page of Pentacles doing? Show me what the Page of Pentacles is doing. Strength and reverse. So, the Page of Pentacles is trying to weaken your Divine Masculine. Or, um, Divine Feminine, like I said, this Page of Pentacles, I'm picking up, this is the Karmic Female. And, um, sometimes strength and reverse is like when somebody is cheating and they get caught. So, that's what the Page of Pentacles is trying to do. Um, Divine Feminine, this karmic female is trying to, like, get your Divine Masculine to sleep with her or do something. So that he can get caught cheating on you. She want him to get caught. But it's a setup. She's doing it on purpose. And she plan on fixing it to where Divine Feminine, you find out that they slept together or something over the weekend. So, she's planning on... Um, weakening your divine masculine convincing him to have sex with her or convincing him to download a link or convincing your divine masculine to like hire her let her work in your business or something she wants your divine masculine strength and reverse that's what she's working on that's what that page of pentacles is trying to bribe your divine masculine to do to go on reverse so she don't want him to resist her that's what that karmic female doing <laughs> mm -hmm. so i i also heard too that this is the only chance that they go, that they're going to get so divine feminine i don't know maybe you and your divine masculine y'all usually y'all usually y'all not apart but over the weekend y'all going to be apart for whatever reason 
So I'm hearing this is the only chance they're going to get. I'm hearing it's now or never. They have to do this over the weekend. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see. What is the Page of Pentacles saying to the Divine Masculine? Oh, she's saying, you can trust me. I'm not being funny. I'm not going to tell Divine Feminine. Um, I won't tell if you won't tell. I'm not being funny. You know, I'm calling you. I'm texting you. I'm emailing you. I'm not, um, you can trust me, um, something. Yeah, she's, she's saying that she's not five swords. Or she's saying, I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to fight with you. I just want to talk to you. Or something like that. She's saying she's five swords. This is what she's saying. Or, divine feminine, these people, your evil family members, or this karmic couple, they could have offended y'all in the past. And this karmic female is telling your divine masculine, oh, what happened in the past? That wasn't really a betrayal. See, let me tell you what really happened. That wasn't us. We didn't do that. I didn't know nothing about it. That wasn't really a betrayal. I don't know why you or your divine feminine is taking that so harshly or y'all taking it to heart. We didn't do it. We didn't know that that was going to happen. So she's trying to say that something wasn't five swords. Or that they didn't do this, they didn't steal or something. That's what this female is saying. She's saying something about five swords is sideways. I'm also picking up um, Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine is going to have his, his de defense up against this karmic female. And she's saying, um, what you being so hostile for? I didn't come here to argue with you. I didn't come here to fight. You want me to get out of my character. You want me to do this. You want me to do that. This karmic female is like trying to play innocent. What else is this page of pentacles saying to divine masculine? Yeah, she's saying something about a soulmate connection. Yeah. So, divine feminine, this karmic female is saying to your divine masculine... I think this was meant to be. You and your divine feminine, y'all usually together, but y'all separated over the weekend. I think it was meant to be. It was meant for us to creep around over the weekend. This was meant to happen. So on, on the board right here is two cups, the ace of cups and the knight of cups. So this is what this karmic female is talking about to your divine masculine. Yeah, this is what she's talking about. Y'all soulmate connection. Or she's trying to tell your divine masculine that something was meant to be. Um, divine feminine, if you're not like on like the perfect terms with your divine masculine, she's telling your divine masculine that it was meant for y'all to break up. Divine feminine, she could be telling your divine masculine that you never loved him. I've been waiting for y'all to break up for so long. Things like that. She's saying she's talking about y'all soulmate connection. That's what she's saying. Or she could be asking your divine masculine where you at. Um, how long she, he's going to be away from you, Divine Feminine. She could be asking him questions, too, about y'all two of cups. Like, what Divine Feminine at? She didn't want to come with you? I'm shocked she didn't go. Um, I'm shocked she's not with you. Or something like that. This karmic saying that page of pentacles. <clears throat> or this, this karmic female is saying to your Divine Masculine. If you and your divine feminine get a divorce, um, I want to be next or I always wanted to be your uh, girl or you should wife me or you should let me run the business or you should hire me or something. Yeah, that karmic female talking about a soulmate connection. So divine feminine, this is either your relationship with your divine masculine or like a business relationship. Yeah, but divine feminine, your divine masculine he he ain't fooling with that karmic. He not fooling with that karmic. He not going to fall for it. Yeah. What's going on with the king of pentacles with his sneaky self? What's going on with that king of pentacles? Yeah, he being the king of swords. So divine feminine, the king of pentacles could be your child's father or um your ex-husband. Somebody you got kids with is your ex. That king of pentacles, he's your ex.
Yeah, something like that. Um, um, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Divine Feminine, the King of Pentacles is also trying to get your Divine Masculine to become your ex. That's what he's working on. He wants your Divine Masculine to, like, break up with you. So, he, the King of Pentacles is saying, if I'm Divine Feminine ex, then Divine Feminine's Divine Masculine is going to be her ex, too. Yeah. But that King of Pentacles is four cups. That King of Pentacles, he upset. He four cups. So Divine Feminine, like I said, the King of Pentacles is your ex. And he feels as though because you rejected him, that he's going to make it his business that your Divine Masculine get rejected too. That's why Divine Feminine, the King of Pentacles, is collaborating with two other people and is trying to get this karmic female to sleep with your Divine Masculine. So I don't know what the hell they doing. All right, so <clears throat> divine feminine. I'm also picking up because I heard they, I heard they're crackheads. They some crackheads. So the King of Pentacles might not be a crackhead, but that this Carmen female, she she a crackhead. Somebody a crackhead. So divine feminine, this could also be a situation. Divine Feminine, if your Divine Masculine, like, sell drugs, they're going to try to set him up over the weekend. And this karmic female is, like, going to go and, like, try to um purchase drugs from your Divine Masculine. And he's not going to sell nothing to her. He's going to act like he don't even know what she's talking about. Yeah, she could be a crackhead. Yeah, and she's going to try to go purchase drugs from him. So they can have the police involved. Because I heard they some crackheads. So I don't know if that's literally or sarcasm. Alright. What's the scoop with um the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands? So Divine Feminine, the karmic masculine that's coming for you, he the wounded warrior. Because he nine one. So, Divine Feminine, he been trying to get at you for a while, too. He the wounded warrior. Yeah, he been trying to get at you for a while. Yep, he the wounded warrior. So, Divine Feminine, this... This karmic master could be the king of pentacles. Don't have to be. But he been flirting with you for a long time. Trying to get you to sleep with him for a long time. He been doing something for a long time, Divine Feminine. It could have been for nine years, nine weeks, nine months, nine hours. Yeah, trying to get you to sleep with him or something. All right. Give me the scoop for the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> they also might turn on each other. It's three people, Divine Feminine, coming up against you and your Divine Masculine. I picked up initially in that Three of Pentacles, I picked up intuitively that these people going to end up getting into a fight or they gonna, they gonna, they're having a disagreement. So, I also see in the cards that one of these people, Divine Feminine, that was collaborating against you, might they going to end up in like a shootout. Somebody going to shoot at that King of Pentacles. Because they trying to come up against you. But they going to get into like an argument or a disagreement. And then they going to end up almost killing each other. Yeah. Because something going to go wrong. Something going to go wrong. Because the Eight of Wands to me could be a shootout. Yeah. Somebody going to try to shoot at that King of Pentacles. Um, Divine Feminine. The King of Pentacles could be your ex. He's your ex-husband or your child's father. I don't know who the third person is, Divine Feminine. 
But it's like the, your ex is not trying to have sex with you. He's sending like another karmic man to have sex with you. And Divine Feminine, this man going to haul off and he going to... Yeah, Divine Feminine, that King of Pentacles is your ex. Or whoever that King of Pentacles is. He's your family member, Divine Feminine. So you got kids by this man or he's like your family. And he's trying to send somebody a fire sign or a water sign to have sex with you. But Divine Feminine, this fire sign or this water sign is going to like shoot. He going to shoot at this King of Pentacles. Because something, di something didn't work. Something did not work. And this fire sign or this water sign going to lose his temper. And he going to take his anger out on that King of Pentacles. Because something is not working. Give me the scoop. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Yep. Yeah, blockages. Yep. Blockages and obstacles. Yep. So, Divine Feminine is telling me the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups is like the plan. That was the plan. Intercourse. Somebody wanted to have intercourse with you to cause you blockages. Or Divine Feminine, is somebody planning on having intercourse with you, they're going to be met with blockages. Divine Feminine, is somebody trying to have sex with you, they're going to be met with blockages and obstacles. Mm -hmm. That's why somebody nine wands, they the wounded warrior. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up the King of Pentacles could be the one doing dark magic. And he's telling this karmic female and this karmic masculine that, go ahead, go ahead, let's stick to the plan. Because my dark magic going to work. I know it's going to work. And Divine Feminine is not. So, whoever the third person is, this person going to be mad at that King of Pentacles. So, Divine Feminine, the King of Pentacles promised this fire sign or this water sign sex. He said, I know my spell work going to work. Go this time over the weekend and go try to ha have sex with Divine Feminine. And this man is going to approach you, Divine Feminine, and you're not going to have sex with him. And he's going to go shoot at that King of Pentacles. Because he got this man's hopes up that he was going to be able to have sex with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because somebody's doing spell work too. Dark magic, yep. <coughs> mm-hmm. I don't, I, something, they, they're they very confident. Divine Feminine, these three people coming up against you and your twin, they're very confident. They're very confident. And they're not going to expect failure for whatever reason. But they that's what they're going to be met with, failure. Blockages and obstacles. So Divine Feminine, is somebody trying to get you in a bedroom, <laughs> this person is going to experience blockages and obstacles. All right, give me the scoop with the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and that King of Pentacles. Yeah, sexual fantasies. Sexual fantasies, yeah. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. Divine Feminine, your, somebody in your family could be a practitioner. And these men are very, like, selfish. They're very disrespectful. Divine Feminine, somebody, Divine Feminine, one of your exes could go to your family member because he's been having sexual fantasies about you. And Divine Feminine, your family member don't care. As long as he's getting paid to do the spell work, he going to do it. So Divine Feminine, that King of Pentacles is a practitioner or something, a warlock, he's something. But it's like this water sign or this fire sign is going to the King of Pentacles and saying, I want to have sex with Divine Feminine. Can you make that happen? And that King of Pentacles like, yeah, I can make that happen. So they collaborating. Or this water sign or this um, fire sign is asking the, the King of Pentacles can also be a tarot reader. And this water sign or this fire sign is asking the King of Pentacles. We're supposed to steal from Divine Feminine over the weekend. But before we go through with the plan, do you think Divine Feminine have sex with me? Like, I want to know, if, will Divine Feminine have sex with me or something? 
Or can you fix the situation to where divine feminine have sex with me? And that king of pentacles like, I don't know. We only supposed to go in there, get the money, do this, do that, go in, go out. Now you want to have sex with her too? They're collaborating, divine feminine. Because <laughs> divine feminine is three people working against you. But one of these people want to have sex with you. <laughs> or divine feminine, that king of pentacles could be your ex. <laughs> And this water sign or this fire sign is asking the king of pentacles. I know we're supposed to set divine feminine up. Whatever this is, some type of theft. He's asking the king of pentacles, if I have sex with your divine feminine, you're going to be mad? I know you want me to go in there, do this, do that. Get the money, get the pen, take the pictures, whatever, whatever. But, you know, if me and her, you know, do what we do, you're going to be mad, king of pentacles? Hmm? They crazy. They having a whole conversation, a collaboration, divine feminine. <laughs> and somebody, <laughs> <clears throat> one of these men, <laughs> he want to have sex with you, divine feminine. So he, they're trying to figure out how can they incorporate a sexual encounter in their theft, in this scam, this scheme. <laughs> This is crazy. Give me the scoop with the Knight of, Knight of Cups, Judgment, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, life purpose. Yeah. Yeah. This karmic female is trying to make your divine masculine doubt his life purpose. Or she's telling your divine masculine, um, I can help you find your life purpose or something to do with life purpose. But I picked that up. That's what she's saying to your divine masculine. Like something was meant to be. Like you and your divine feminine is never apart. And over the weekend, y'all separated. That never happened. Divine masculine, you don't think that's strange? This karmic female, she's um talking about something about life purpose. Yeah, somebody finding their life purpose. Yeah. Or, I also see in the cards that this karmic female is supposed to be trying to bribe your divine masculine to cause a theft. But I also see this karmic female, she really has feelings for your divine masculine, divine feminine. And she really thinks that this is her life purpose. So, for example... Say like divine feminine, they send a karmic to your divine masculine to do him harm, to steal from him. It's like divine feminine, this karmic female is plotting with these other two men. But it's like, she plan on like, um, diverting from the plan and like really running away with your divine masculine. This woman, this karmic female, for some of y'all, she really like, She's in love with your divine masculine. It's like she's planning on going through with the plan. But she really think your divine masculine is her divine masculine. So I don't know if this woman is like tempted to even tell your divine masculine the truth. Because she really, now I see this karmic female, she really don't want to do this. She don't want to betray your divine masculine. Because she really could be in love with him. And these other two men over here, they're not aware of that. So this karmic female on her own program. She's down with the plot. She's down with the theft. But she's on her own program because she in her feelings. Because she really got love for your divine masculine, divine feminine. And this karmic female, she thinks that your divine masculine is her life purpose. So this woman, she, yeah, that's another reason why something not going to work. Because this woman, she, she has, she got love for your divine masculine. Oh my God. This is a disaster waiting to happen. This collaboration, divine feminine, that these karmics is uh, um cooking up. This is a disaster waiting to happen because everybody on their own program. It's like Divine Feminine, the King of Pentacles, he the only one that's like focused. He 
he just want he just want to do a, a robbery, a theft, and that's it. It's like Divine Feminine. This other karmic want to have sex with you. Then this female karmic, she really think you're Divine Masculine. Her boo. This King of Pentacles, something is a, is a recipe for disaster. Because they're not on one accord. They're motives. The King of Pentacles is the only one that's focused. He just straight want to cause y'all a theft, a loss, whatever. But these two other two people that the King of Pentacles working with, he don't even realize that. <laughs> this ain't going to work. This is not going to work. Because these two karmics, <laughs> they on their own program. Again, Divine Feminine, this karmic masculine want to have sex with you. So he's already distracted. He's not really thinking about the actual theft. He's thinking about he just want to have sex with you, Divine Feminine. And this karmic female, she really believes in her mind that your Divine Masculine is her life purpose. This is a disaster. <laughs> <clears throat> this ain't going to work. So divine feminine, whoever that king of pentacles is, mm -mm. his plan not going to work. It's that king of pentacles. He the ring leader. It's that king of pentacles too. So let me put some beans on this. If the, Give me what's the beans with um the ace of wands, the ace of cups, the eight of wands, and blockages. What's the beans? Yeah, a hater. Mm -hmm. Divine feminine, this karmic masculine that might approach you over the weekend, wanting to ask you questions about your four of wands. This man is a hater. He's a hater, or he's working with with your hater, divine feminine, to come up against you. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, it's a masculine that's gonna approach you. This masculine could be your ex. Divine Feminine, these is three people. Two of them could be your ex, Divine Feminine, and one of them is a karmic female. Yeah. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, this fire sign or this water sign could be a hater. This man don't like your divine masculine. He's a hater. Or divine feminine, this fire sign or this water sign, unbeknownst to you, is working against you with your hater. And it could be this karmic female. Divine feminine, I'm also picking up whoever this fire sign is or this water sign. You're aware that he dates this karmic female. And that's one of the reasons why you're going to be suspicious of this man. And divine feminine, this man might try to convince you that he broke up with this karmic female, but they didn't. They're actually trying to set you and your divine masculine up. He didn't break up with this karmic female. All right. What's the spill with the three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the king of pentacles with sexual fantasies? I'm also picking up two divine feminine. If you was to fall for this, um, they were going to film it. So, Divine Feminine, if you have sex with this karmic masculine, he was going to film it. Because the King of Pentacles want to watch. I just heard that. I heard camera. Like, earlier in the reading, I heard camera. So, somebody was planning on filming something without your knowledge, Divine Feminine. Or this karmic female was going to film your Divine Masculine. I heard a camera. And, um, I'm picking up this, um... King of Pentacles for some of y'all too. He wants to watch. So he's telling them to film it because he want to see it. Yeah, something like that. If this karmic masculine um have sex with you, Divine Feminine, the King of Pentacles is telling him to film it because he want to see it. Or to record it because he want to see it. All right, give me the beans. Spill the beans with the three pentacles, ten pentacles, king of pentacles, and sexual fantasy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Check yourself. Came out sideways. Yeah. 
So, Divine Feminine, whoever the King of Pentacles is to you, he's going to experience failure at coming up against you and or your Divine Masculine because he wrong from the jump. Because he, he, he didn't put himself in check. Divine Feminine, whoever the King of Pentacles is to you, he's wrong from the jump. Because of his relationship to you. Divine Feminine, this King of Pentacles could be your uncle. He could be your brother. He could be your ex-husband. You got kids by this man. So, Divine Feminine, whatever this King of Pentacles plotting against you, Spirit, like, no. You wrong from the jump because your relationship to Divine Feminine. Or Divine Feminine, that King of Pentacles could be your father. Or something. But that's what I heard. This King of Pentacles is going to be met with failure because he's just wrong from the from the jump. Ain't nothing right about what he's doing. The King of Pentacles could be trying to make excuses or ain't nothing. I mean, ain't nothing right about what this man doing. That King of Pentacles trying to set you up, Divine Feminine. Ain't nothing right about it. And not one time did he put himself in check and say, I shouldn't do that to Divine Feminine because that's my sister. That's my ex-wife. We got kids together. I shouldn't do that to her. This man didn't put himself in check. So, because he didn't put himself in check, Divine Feminine, I'm hearing the universe going to put him in check. Because he didn't put himself in check. Because he done wrong. Alright, what's this spill with the Knight of Cups? Uh, judgment, life purpose, and the Page of Pentacles. What's this spill with that? I got to put some lotion on my hands. My hands is ashy. Yeah, tantric sex, yup. Astral projection sex. So, this karmic female, she could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer, or she could be an Earth sign, don't have to be. But this karmic female energy right here, she could be asking your Divine Masculine for tantric sex. It's like, Divine Feminine, the karmic female going to start off small with your Divine Masculine. So, she going to say, no, I don't want to have sex sex. Let's do tantric sex. You ever had tantric sex? But her goal, Divine Feminine, is for you, for her and your Divine Masculine to have full-blown, like a sexual a sexual um, intercourse. But she's going to start off by saying, you ever had tantric sex? Or do you and Divine Feminine have tantric sex? Or something. She's starting off small with tantric sex. Yeah, astral projection sex. Yeah. Or, Divine Feminine, this karmic female might say to your Divine Masculine, you miss your Divine Feminine? You horny? I can show you how to have tantric sex. You ever thought of that? You and your Divine Feminine have tantric sex? This karmic female? She's starting off small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Or, um, Divine Feminine, this karmic female could be saying to your Divine Masculine, she could be asking him, do he got porn? Um, do he want to watch a porno with her? Because this is my card for, like, porn. So, it's something, this Page of Pentacles, this karmic female is saying to your Divine Masculine. But she's starting off small. Or she could be asking him for a hug. Or something. She started off small. She could just be like, give me a hug. Or come over here. Just meet me over here real quick. I just want a hug. I just want to talk to you. Come give me a hug. She's starting off small. And she could be saying to your divine master, she just want a hug. Or something like that. Yep. Ooh. Let me put some spill on this energy and then I'm going to be done. All right. Give me the spill with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Blockages, and Hater. Divine Feminine, your hater over the weekend is going to experience blockages. And Divine Feminine, that's what they get. That's what they get. Yeah, a distorted feminine, a toxic connection. Yeah. 
Divine Feminine, I think one of the reasons, it's many reasons, but Divine Feminine, one of the reasons why you might reject this karmic masculine is because you're aware of who his girlfriend is. You know that his girlfriend is a karmic female. She's a distorted feminine and that this man is in a toxic connection. And Divine Feminine, you don't want nothing to do with it. Divine Feminine, that's one of the reasons why um, you refuse to have sex with whoever this karmic masculine is. Because you know who his girlfriend is, Divine Feminine. The, she's a distorted female and um, their relationship is toxic. So, Divine Feminine, if you, like, entertaining this karmic masculine, like, just a little bit, you could be saying to him, now, you know what happened the last time when um, your karmic female found out me and you was messing around. Is she still crazy? Divine Feminine, you could be talking to this karmic masculine. And Divine Feminine, he trying to tell you him and his girlfriend broke up, him and his karmic broke up. And Divine Feminine, that ain't true. They trying to set you up. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, this karmic masculine is going to experience his blockages with you because you're aware he's connected to your hater. And this woman is a distorted feminine. And their whole entire connection is toxic. And Divine Feminine, you don't want no part. You don't want to be a part of a toxic connection, Divine Feminine, with this karmic female. Yeah. All right. What's the spill with the Three of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Sexual Fantasies, and Check Yourself. Coming out sideways. <laughs> yep, Karma. Divine Feminine. The King of Pentacles was trying to give you karma for whatever reason, but the King of Pentacles is going to get karma over the weekend. Revenge will never solve anything. Karma will. Someone is getting karma for the pain they caused, receiving a dose of their own medicine. Good karma could be repaid. So the king of pentacles could be trying to get his own justice. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up the king of pentacles offended you in the past. There was a betrayal. Divine Feminine, the king of pentacles want more revenge because... You, um, like defended yourself in the past, or you could have confronted the King of Pentacles in the past about him betraying you. And he didn't like that, Divine Feminine. So he felt as though you deserve karma. Mm hmm That King of Pentacles. Divine Feminine, this King of Pentacles is getting karma. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up the King of Pent Pentacles could be your business competitor. And his business might come under judgment instead of yours or something like that. Yeah, that King of Pentacles was getting karma because he was trying to give you karma. Yeah. I also heard Divine Feminine, whoever the King of Pentacles is to you. Divine Feminine, whatever the King of Pentacles is playing against you over the weekend, that's karma all by itself. Because that King of Pentacles should be ashamed of himself. That he's actually sitting up there planning your demise, Divine Feminine. I just heard that. So, that's karma alone, Divine Feminine. Like, to his conscience, that King of Pentacles? That's karma alone. For him sitting there and collaborating to come up against you. That's karma alone. He already know he wrong. But he kept on with the plan. That King of Pentacles know he wrong. What's the spill with the Knight of Cups, Judgment, the Page of Pentacles, Life Purpose, and Tantric Sex? Yeah, split personality. Yeah. Whoever this karmic female is, like I said, she could be a crackhead. She got a split personality. I'm also picking up Divine Feminine, whoever this karmic female is. She she preferred to be with your divine masculine, but she ended up with this karmic masculine. So this karmic female has to behave as, as if she like got over your divine masculine, but she didn't. So she got a split personality because she really deep down, she in love with him. And she really think that your divine masculine, divine feminine is her divine masculine. 
So acting different around you and the next person and not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. So Divine Feminine, whoever this karmic female is, she really got love for your Divine Masculine. But she got to hide it. Because she could be dating your Divine Masculine's competition or something. But Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine don't want this karmic. And this karmic female, you probably used to be your Divine Masculine ex. He do not want her. So that's another reason why she had to stay with this karmic masculine. Because your divine masculine don't want don't want this karmic female divine feminine. I'm also picking up divine feminine. Whatever the situation may be. Divine feminine, you can have a, um, a massage business. You massage. Or you do Ricky, Ricky healing. Divine feminine, this karmic female is asking your divine masculine. Do he want to like incorporate tantric sex in y'all um y'all business like y'all shop? Just to like bring in more income. But it's like this is like a setup. So it's like divine feminine, you can have a Ricky healing shop. Or you like a mas you massage or whatever. And again, divine feminine, this karmic female is suggesting to your divine masculine to also incorporate tantric sex in your business. Like to give lessons on tantric sex or to sell books or something inside your business. To like bring in more income, but it's a setup. Yeah, this is like a false business plan. That she, she's suggesting to y'all divine masculine. Because y'all could be Ricky healers or y'all um, massage therapists or something like that. Yeah. Poor thing. That karmic female, I feel sorry for her. Because Divine Feminine, she really, she this karmic female, I'm starting to feel it now. She really, she got love for your Divine Masculine, but he don't want her. And it could be because she on drugs. This woman a crackhead. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, that could be the reason why your Divine Masculine broke ties with her. Because she got strung out on drugs. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up if this is not like a third party, fourth party situation in love. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up concerning your Divine Masculine. This karmic female could be his family member. She don't have to be his ex. She could be his family member. Like this could be his aunt or like his cousin or something. Yeah, your divine masculine. It's like divine feminine. Your family trying to set you up, and your divine masculine family trying to set him up. But they're coming together. So divine feminine, your family and your divine masculine family coming up together to um to um co to uh, come up against y'all. They're joining. I heard they're joining forces to come up against y'all. Divine feminine. If this karmic female is your divine masculine, it's like immediate family. Like his cousin, his aunt, or something like that. This karmic female got a crush on your divine masculine, but their family. This could be his cousin or something. Or divine feminine, maybe your if this um karmic female is like your divine masculine's immediate family. Divine feminine, I think when your divine masculine was younger, I'm picking that up too. When he was younger, he used to mess around with his his family member. Yeah, he used to mess around with her. And she, like, she got love for him. She, like, loves him. Like, romantically. Yeah. Yeah, so something like that going on. So, Divine Feminine, that's another reason why your Divine Masculine, he's very, very, very defensive. Defensive um, towards this karmic female. Because they probably used to mess around when they was younger. And your divine masculine, like, why you calling me? You, we don't do that no more. Uh, uh. Like, we been stopped doing that. Don't call me with that. No. Yeah, divine feminine. She could be asking your divine masculine for sex or something, and they probably used to mess around when they was like young or teenagers or something, and they family. And your divine masculine, like, what you calling me for? Or something. Or something like that going on.
So Divine Feminine, um, I'm picking up. That's the scenario for some of y'all. And Divine Feminine, I don't know if your Divine Masculine told you that. That he used to mess with one of his family members. Like, the, yeah, like kissing cousins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let me end it because that's what I have. I'm trying to do. Yeah, let me put some tea on this. Yeah. Divine from the bankrupt came out in reverse. It's at the bottom of the deck, but it's in reverse. <coughs> divine from them. These three people coming up against you and your divine masculine over the weekend. They wanted y'all to um be bankrupt, but it's not gonna happen. And they wanted somebody to be lonely. And they could have also been stalking y'all. And they're fake. So Divine Feminine, you could have been saying. Divine Feminine, you could have tried to like go get a restraining order against these karmates. And your restraining order wasn't approved. Divine Feminine, they was like lying. They had fake smiles about um like stalking you or your Divine Masculine. They was lying. Or Divine Feminine, in the past. Or the recent past, you could have been complaining to your divine masculine that you think this karmic female was stalking you, but divine feminine, she denied it. She was like, Ain't nobody thinking about your divine feminine. I don't be following her. But they would be in fake, yeah. Or something like that. So, what's the tea with this ace of wands, the ace of cups, and the eight of wands? This energy. What's the tea? Yeah, running. Yeah. So, yeah, somebody going to have to run. Because somebody going to end up, there's going to be like a shootout or a shooting, somebody, something like that. Somebody going to have to run. Or these karmics going to end up having to go on a run. Or this is also my car for um a very bossy female, somebody that likes to run the show. Like this woman, she just bossy. Or Divine Feminine, this is telling me you're, like, going to run from, like, this karmic masculine. This could be energetically. Divine Feminine, you don't want nothing to do with this karmic masculine. That's the T. Somebody going to end up running. Yeah, and it might be the King of Pentacles. Because I just heard Divine Feminine, that King of Pentacles promised somebody that they would have sex with you. Somebody promised somebody that. And Divine Feminine, you're not going to have sex with this man. And that King of Pentacles going to have to run. Okay. What's the tea with the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the ten, King of Pentacles? What's the tea with this energy? Yeah, girl fight. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, amongst other things, the King of Pentacles was trying to cause a girl fight. Or he was like um, instigating a girl fight. Divine Feminine, between you and this karmic female. This King of Pentacles was instigating. So Divine Feminine, your ex or your family member was instigating your hater to come up against you and, like, sleep with your divine masculine. Arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This king of pentacles was instigating a girl fight. Um, what's the tea with the knight of cups? Judgment and the page of pages. Yeah, see, I told you. Divine Feminine, whoever this karmic female is, she's really interested in your Divine Masculine. She she still love your Divine Masculine. But Divine Feminine, for whatever reason, I think your Divine Masculine broke up with her. Like, he don't want her. Or it could be because they're family. And Divine Feminine, she's interested in your Divine Masculine. But she got to act like she's not, but she really is. So she got a split personality. Or, like I said, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine used to, like, be kissing cousins with his this karmic. And it's like she had to keep it a secret from their family. But she's really interested in him. 
Like she likes him romantically. And but she can't tell the family that. Or something like that going on. Yeah, this karmic female, she got a split personality because she's interested in somebody and she has to behave as if she's not interested in, in your divine masculine, but she actually is. Yeah, so she got a split personality for sure. Yeah. So divine feminine, when this karmic female be around you, she got to act like she don't, she, she's not interested in your divine masculine. When this karmic female is around her, when she's around this karmic masculine, which could be her lover, her current lover, she has to act like she's not interested. And also, Divine Feminine, when she's around your Divine Masculine, she got to be careful what she say to him. Yeah. She got to act like she's not interested. So, it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic female is hoping that your Divine Masculine would come on to her. So she don't have to make it obvious. So I heard Divine Feminine, if your Divine Masculine want it, he can have it. Or she wants him to take it. She wants your Divine Masculine to be interested, but he's not. Yeah, she want to have sex with your Divine Masculine, but he don't want to. Because either this woman is a crackhead, or this woman is like his family. Yeah, something like that. So... Let me end it. Divine Feminine, that's what's going on over the weekend. Yeah, somebody might have to call the cops. <clears throat> yeah, the Knight of Swords. Or or um, somebody going to get into a fight. Yeah. Divine Feminine, these people collaborating against you and your Divine Masculine, they're going to they gonna end up getting into it. This is like a shooting or like a physical altercation or something. They're going to get into it. Because especially this man... Divine Feminine, this man is going to be pissed off because you want to have sex with him. And he's going to go take his anger out on this King of Pentacles. Hmm? So, mm -hmm. so, that's what's going on, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, you could be Indian or you're from India. I'm picking that up too. Yeah, somebody could be Indian or from India. Yep. So, let me end it. <clears throat> yeah, this karmic could definitely, like, be a crackhead. Because this smoke in that picture, something coming out her mouth. What is that? Yeah, she blowing smoke out her mouth and nose. Yeah, this karmic smoke crack. This karmic female, she a crackhead. So, that's what I have. So, um, collective, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and oh, share. And, um, enjoy your weekend and things.